Hello YouTube, I'm investigating the PMH a pulse motor mystery. So um, I put um, uh, some masking tape on these magnets over here and I left just one magnet flashing because uh, I actually got um, an RPM meter that I'll be using to try to get the uh, RPM measurement from this thing. So I'll be getting the RPM measurement under three conditions. And um, the first one is the RPM measured with transformers are shorted. So this is a PMH and at, at the AC side um, you have your uh, load being dumped into four transformers all hooked up in series. And then the second condition is uh, I'm going to be testing it with this uh, 50 watt load. It's basically um, adjustable load. And the third condition is I'm going to disconnect everything and then we'll see what the uh, RPM is. So okay, here we go. We'll start it off with um, with the transformers being shorted out. Okay. And in case you're wondering what this was, this is a stainless steel foil. I wrapped the coils in stainless steel foil because uh, at least common uh, recommended that you put your coils inside of a tube that actually helps the coils maintain their magnetic flux but I don't have a, a tube to fit those coils of course so I had to improvise anyway so as you can see it's moving fairly fast so let's see what the RPM meter says See 1,035 RPMs, I believe. Let's see. It's jumping all over the place. Okay, it's around a, a thousand something RPMs. 1086 1100 Okay, let's let's say it's 1100, okay? So we're going to write that value down on the notebook. I'm going to try to do this video in a single take so people won't say that I'm, you know, editing or whatever. Okay, so we're shorted 1100 RPMs, okay? So I'm going to disconnect everything, so I disconnected the power, slowing down. So now I'm going to disconnect the transformers and connect this load. And uh, let's see. Okay. So we connected the load. Okay. Okay, let's see if it will start it uh, start up again. Okay. So I'm plugging it, plugging it back in. Okay, let's see, let's give it a spin. So I disconnected the transformers and I connected the 50 watt load to it. Dum dummy load. It's, it's barely moving now. It's actually slowing down. Everything is the same. So the only thing I did was I removed the transformers out of the picture. As you can see, it, it wouldn't even spin up. So the 50 watt basically killed the effect. So, okay. Now let's try disconnecting everything. So I'm, I'm unhooking the load. 
and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm even going to undo these um, uh, these coils so so the, the, it's just the pulse motor is going to be running so the, the coils will be completely separated from the system okay let's see I just want to want to document this very bizarre effect that I came across, and um, it's something that I can't explain. And I wish you guys could help me with it. So, so okay, I completely disconnected the coils. So let's let's see if it will spin up again without the coils being connected. Because uh, I've been messing with this uh, rotor quite a lot, and as you can, you, you hear there's more friction now than in, in my first run. And I've also moved the PM, PMH in different locations, so it may push it closer, push it further up, further away. So as you can see, as you can see, it's slowing down again. So the PMH is completely disconnected out of the, out of the picture. I disconnected the wiring, so the only thing that's driving it is this pulse motor. And as you can see, the pulse motor isn't strong enough to drive to drive the circuit. So uh, without the PMH help, it's not going to run at all, as you can see. Okay, let's see if it's gonna speed up this time. So I didn't have to use the RPM meter. Let's see if it's gonna speed up. Hmm. See, it's, it's slowing down. So again, this demonstrate, demonstrates that PMH is uh, actually helping the rotor when its, in, it's um, output is run through the transformers. Why it does that? I'm not, I'm not sure. So I hope you guys can help me solve this, uh, this mystery. So as, as, as for our values, see it's 1000 RPMs with uh, shorter transformers and zero for the other, for the others. So this is uh, truly a mystery. Is this how Edley Scalman uh, rotor uh, ran itself? It's with the, with the help of this effect. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give me feedback what you think is happening here.